All right, guys, what's going on? Krasenstein here, and we're back with another community update from Unity. They finally decided to create their press release for their changes. It says it's a company announcement here. It's a big deal. As you know, the install fee issue plagued the entire world, basically, with tons of people being really upset that there was going to be this whole thing where you would spend 20 cents and send it back to Unity every time somebody installed your game. Literally... Completely uncool, completely unfair, everything with that, right? So this is literally, I'm gonna read this to you. It says, to our community, I'm Mark Whitten, and I lead Unity Create, which includes the Unity Engine and Editor teams. I wanna start with this. I am sorry. We're sorry. We're sorry. We're sorry. Isn't that a South Park episode? We're sorry. We should have spoken with more of you, and we should have incorporated more of your feedback before announcing our new runtime fee policy. Our goal with this policy is to ensure we can continue to support, to support you, to support you today and tomorrow, and keep deeply investing in our game engine. You are what makes Unity great, and we know we need to listen and work hard to earn your trust. Because you lost it, you lost it from a lot of people, man. Whew. We have heard your concerns, and we are making changes in the policy we announced to address them. Our Unity personal plan will remain free, and there will be no runtime fee for games built on Unity personal. Huge, huge. Unity personal is anything under 100K in revenue in the last 12 months. Hold on. We will be increasing the cap from 100,000 to 200,000. Wow. And we will remove the requirement to use the Made with Unity splash screen. Wow. You don't have, no longer have to mark Made with Unity in your game when you open it anymore. Now you don't have to say Unity because there was so much backlash. This is insane. So now it looks like proprietary software when you load your game. And the cap doubled for personal. That's amazing. Literally amazing. No game with less than $1 million in trailing 12-month revenue will be subject to the fee. Wow. No runtime fee unless you make a $1 million in the last 12 months. In revenue, not in, gross, not in gross sales, in revenue. For those creators on Unity Pro and Unity Enterprise, we are also making changes based on your feedback. The runtime fee policy will only apply beginning with the next LTS long-time support version of Unity, Shipping in 2024 and beyond. Your games that are currently shipped and the projects you're currently working on will not be included. Wow. Unless you choose to upgrade them to this new version of Unity. It's like we're working in old versions forever. We will make sure that you can stay on the terms applicable for the version of Unity Editor you are using as long as you keep using that version. Okay. For games that are subject to the runtime fee, we're giving you a choice of either a 2.5% rev share, which is half of Unreal, or the calculated amount based on the number of new people engaging with your game each month. Both of these numbers are self-reported from data you already have available. You will always be billed the lesser amount. Wow. We want to continue to build the best engine for creators. We truly love this industry, and you are the reason why. We'd like to invite you to join them for a live fireside chat hosted, hosted by Jason Wyman today at 4 p.m., literally two hours from now, where you'll do your best to answer your questions. In the meantime, here are some details. Here are some details. Let's see what the details are. Pricing updates. Okay. This page summarizes and replaces the prior runtime fee and introduced September 12th, which was a disaster, right? This, uh, if you're on Unity Personal or Plus, the fee does not apply. The new one will only apply to Unity Pro and Enterprise. That's huge. No games created with any, with any currently supported Unity version will be impacted. Only those created with or upgraded to the long-term support version releasing in 2024 or later. Currently referred to as 2023 LTS will be impacted. For those games, the fee is only applicable after a game has crossed two thresholds. A million dollars in gross revenue, trailing 12 months, and a million initial engagements. A million and a million instead of 200, 200. Those crossing those two thresholds, you can choose to pay the runtime fee either based on monthly initial engagements or 2.5% of gross revenue. You'll be charged lesser of the two. Here's the updates. Okay. Unity Personal, no runtime fee, splash screen optional. That's huge. 
If the unit personal plan will remain free, there will be no runtime fees for games built with the plan. We'll be increasing the annual revenue and funding limit from 100k to 200k. We'll remove the requirement to use the main with Unity splash screen. Wow. Runtime fee does not apply to any games created with any currently supported Unity versions, so no retroactivity. We make sure that you can stay on the terms applicable for the version of Unity you're using as long as you keep using that version. Keeping the old TOS. This is everything they this is everything they wanted. Everything that everyone complained about that we wanted. Right? You have a choice of the lesser of two and a half rev share or the calculated amount, and you get paid you get charged for the lesser of the two. That's crazy. Look, look at all this stuff. Runtime fee applied to your game. It does not apply to any games in 2022 LTS, 2021, 2020, or anything earlier. Wow. That's awesome. Is there anything about how okay, define initial engagement? We first introduced, introduced the runtime fee policy. We use the term installs, which is the community found to be unclear and nuclear. So we're using the term initial engagement as a measure, a unit of measure. We define an initial engagement to mean the moment that a distinct end user successfully and legitimately acquires, downloads, or engages with a game powered by the Unity runtime for the first time in a distribution channel. Okay. To explain the definition in a little more detail, we use the word distinct because we don't want you to worry about situations where it's impossible to tell players apart, like a like game deployed in a public space, like a trade show floor. You can count such a situation as if it was one player. Nice. Use the word legitimate because we don't want to bill you for activity from piracy. People obtaining the game fraudulently. It's amazing. We use the term end user because we don't want to bill you for activity from your development team. Wow. From automated processes or other people who are not the actual players of your game. Use the term for the first time, so we don't want to charge you for players playing a game multiple times or installing a game or installing a game on extra devices. And by in a distribution channel, we mean that for a given end user, the runtime fee will be charged once for each method that they obtain the game. For example, if they buy your game from two different app stores, then you would count and report the initial engagement once per store. If they buy your game from one app store and deploy it to two different devices, you would count and report the initial engagement once. How do we measure this? In practice, we don't expect most customers to measure initial engagements directly, but to estimate them. Okay, the most appropriate approach to use will depend on your game. So this is just a trust system. Interesting. Very interesting. This list is not comprehensive. Okay, wait. for game with upfront payment using the number of units sold as an acceptable estimate, tracking units where end users requested a refund. Um, for a game with no upfront payment, like our game, World of Grimm, Distributors often provide the number of distinct user accounts that upload that download the game for the first time. Also, an acceptable estimate in the event that typically occurs only once for each end user. Wow. Uh, yeah. So WebGL counts. You still need to pay for a Unity subscription plan. Yes. Okay, that's separate. Unity has to be monthly fee. We not supply data. I mean, you supply your own data. Okay, that's so interesting that they're going to be asking you to supply your own data and just taking it for what it's worth. With that being said. How do I feel about this? I think this is a huge change and a, an a amazing change from the current install fee issue they had. Is it, is it the same they had before? Before the install fee announcement like a week and a half ago? No. No, it's, it's definitely still not the best. However, 90% of people use Unity Personal and Unity Plus. And now there's no install fees attached to them at all. So you can do Unity Personal and just make games forever and have to not ever worry about install fees. And they increased the threshold to 200K from 100K for uh, buying a plan. And they got rid of the Unity splash screen. There's a lot, a lot of good that happened here. Tell me in the comments what you think, how you feel about this. I think it's an amazing, amazing uh, change compared to what they had in place already. The no retroactivity part makes me so happy, and we're, I'm, I'm stoked. I'm going to keep using Unity regardless anyway, but now this confirms it. Uh, I know that they can always go around and change it again the next day, but the goal is to not go in with fear and to try to make games. And I hope one day that we do have to deal with Runtime Fee because that means we're making so many sales in our game. Like That's a great thing, right? Speaking of cool things and games, if you checked out our Kickstarter, World of Grimm is a digital, fast-paced collectible card game set in the Brothers Grimm world. The games are five minutes long, and you can back it on Kickstarter now. Just go to the link down underneath here, and you can hit that in the description. Uh, we are $6,900 out of 10000 When we get to the 10000 mark, we will show our stretch goals, and there are four stretch goals we're going to show immediately. We're very excited to release those and show you them.
With that, that's the end of the video. Thanks so much for watching. If you can like, comment, and subscribe for more content, and we'll talk to you guys soon. Have a good one.